I, I've been in the voice acting industry for 15 years, uh, starting in 2002 as a production assistant uh, engineer at Funimation. And Jade? Uh, I've been in the uh, industry for 11 years now. I started in 2004, so since then. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Somewhere in the 90s, there was a strike here in Dallas, and I was a total rat and came in at like 20 years old and just got a bunch of jobs. I think they call us scabs, I'm not sure, but <laughs> Dallas is right to work state. But Funimation actually didn't start till like 2009, I think, 2008. Uh, yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. For Bamboo Blade. No, for Bamboo Blade. Oh, no, Phantom. Yeah. No, no, because Bamboo was. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Bamboo. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I started in 2009. professionally since. I guess 2009, so it'd be eight years on Valentine's Day. But when I was younger, I would record myself on cassette. It was Radio Tia, so <laughs> that was my first gig. <laughs> you, were in, you, were, you were your own boss yes. at Radio Tia. Um, I started doing uh, voice work when I was seven, um, so uh, almost 23 years, but I started at Funimation when I was 18. So, it's been a little while. Yeah, you played that, you played that mean uh, I was My very first role was Sai in Peach Girl, so she was horribly vicious. <laughs> and I had just graduated from high school, so it was, you know, I was the nerd in high school and then I was playing the mean girl. It was very weird. It was very surreal. I wasn't used to it. So whenever we hire somebody like that's still in high school or like just out of high school, like someone always is like, well, that's not fair. <laughs> I had just graduated. Yeah. Uh, all right, Q and A. You got your hand up? Yes. Uh, what are your favorite characters? Like, yeah. yourself, Which one is your favorite like, characters <laughs> on the show? Um, I've always, uh, I guess that maybe identify with Makarov, since he's trying to hold it all together. Yeah. So, uh, I've always ad identified with him, uh, and I've always liked him quite a bit, and uh, he's always fun to record. Uh, um, beside, is it besides your own character? Right. Well, even if you like your own. Uh, okay. She just wants to you guys like, she doesn't. Well, now I'm uh, Veechter, who doesn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also I'm Bixlow now, and then I'm a bunch of other, you know, randos. Uh, <laughs> I like Borean a lot for what I play, but. Wizard 2. Yeah. <laughs> Wizard 2. Um, I'm a huge fan of all the XCs, but I really love Panther Lily yeah. so much. Yeah. 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 special place in my heart for him. Love him so much. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. The XCs. Happy Panther Lily. My daughter's favorite is Happy. Aww. Yeah. She loves Happy. Um, my favorite, I think, which I know goes against as far as character, but I really, when I first auditioned, I really wanted to... Uh, uh, narrator role actually yeah. and so the guy well I guess all of them have been wonderful but the guy that got it whenever I heard his voice I was like oh my gosh it was like honey dripping over gravel yeah, that's, uh, beautiful Bob yeah who was, who was known as the golden gullet yes <laughs> so he he was I love that uh... I really like Kathy. <laughs> As you should. I also really love Gray. And forgive me, who is that character that's the big clock? I always forget his name. Horologia. Yes, I love him. <laughs> um, I really love getting to voice Lucy, and I love her so much. But if I had to pick someone that was not Lucy, Panther Lily, obviously, is a big fave. Um, I cannot pick one celestial spirit, so I love all of them. Clue is adorable, but uh, I really I really do love whenever Horologium shows up. And I saw at a convention an entire family, mom, dad, and their five children, 
dressed in cosplay, and they dressed the stroller up even to be horologium. So when the children couldn't walk, they had to go sit in horologium. It was so cute. Uh, so yeah, I, I just love the show. Yeah, a friend of ours, uh, uh, Jekka, I guess, she she dressed her, her kid up as Makarov. It was like two oh years old. Gosh, it was so, so cute. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Panther Lily's a big one. Apparently, he's a huge favorite. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody ships him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I guess we've got another uh, question. Yes, you there in the back? Yes. Can you talk in your active voices? Uh, yeah, I guess since I do Bixlow, that's like Bixlow is like is just like. Um, Basically, Otto from The Simpsons, you know, but he's just like, a lot, like, uh, way more caffeinated. And he just says, like, you know, hey, babies, let's party! Set, let go! Yeah! That was awesome. <laughs> um, I just always know my character reference that Tyler plays for me every time I go in. So it's, uh, and I think it's one of the first lines I say in the whole series, which is, you're far too young to be traveling in a company, child. <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Carla! Oh, oh, yeah, Sky Dragon have... Roar! <laughs> yeah, you gotta do the, you always do the, the like, there's a Wendy. Yeah, there's a Wendy. <laughs> That's the frequency. There's I don't a Wendy break. face yeah. that she makes. The, the tea kettles? Oh, no, no, there's a Wendy face. Like, your <laughs> eyebrows go, like, straight up. And like, no, I love the Invisible Sandwich. It was the first time I saw it with Wendy and the Invisible Sandwich when she oh, was sinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, it looks like she's eating an Invisible Sandwich. <laughs> so that's Wendy's moment. I thought you meant the tea kettle. Oh, yeah, the tea kettle. That's like... Yeah, it's in the tea kettle That's the screen, screen that she does so that we always have to turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> we don't so. deafen our other actors. But it's, it's, it's a hoot. As a healthcare professional, I'm just going to say Ice make flu! Yeah. Clean, that's all. Thank you. Make sure you wash your hands, everyone. <laughs> should be a lot closer. I'll move. Carla can come sit here. Okay, usually everybody wants to hear me yell at Natsu, and since he's not here, we should all yell at him. <laughs> Natsu, are you serious? This is my apartment. You can't just barge in here and you can't even show up for fairy tale day? That's it. I'm gonna make sure Happy doesn't carry you the next time we have to go somewhere. <laughs> That's so I'm the default mic person. All right, uh, you, You're you have a question. Yeah. Is there a moment recording that you can remember that really stood out to you, whether it be like emotional or just funny? Like any moment that just stood out to you that you have a memory of? Uh, uh, well, when we find out like Wendy's origin story, like, yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know, there's like, you know, it's like you have a little ugly cry. Uh, but like, like both, like on on your on your part of that and uh, Urza, because she gets real moved by it, and you know, yeah. Um, and just like starting out, I mean, you know, it's like I don't know. I just still remember those like first days when like you know, it's like we were just starting the show and things were real new and like we had this big thing behind us. Uh, but probably the most memorable for me overall was going to New York Comic Con and meeting uh, Mashima with uh, uh, Newton Sheremy. And that was pretty awesome. Yeah. I almost cried then. I'm like, I'm going to do a good job with the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand what I was saying, but... <laughs> Jane? Um, yeah, I... I, <laughs> I love, like, all the, the Wendy Carla super emotional moments. But for whatever reason, when you ask that question, like, the one that, like, maybe because it had, like, a fear response, um, was remembering all the, like, Ichia zombies, like, yeah. why is that a memory that I can't forget? Yeah. Man. <laughs> You know, it's weird. I didn't actually think of an emotional moment. I thought about the butt jiggle gang. Yeah. 
Switch it because I love it. And if I could just do an entire anime of Wendy and the Butt Jiggle Gang, I would. <laughs> Which is kind of where Jade went as well. It really? So. Yeah, see, it, was just, it, was the best, it was the best time. <laughs> Uh, mine goes, I guess, on with, like, Tyler's. Uh, when we went to the New York Comic Con, I don't even know that I'd ever had anyone even ask me for my autograph. And I wasn't even quite sure what, like, how big this anime was. And so I just kind of walked in blindly, like, we're gonna talk to a couple people, do an interview, and, like, a panel like this. And the mistake that I made is I walked with Todd into <laughs> the main hall where we were doing our questions and yeah. we were just chatting and like it opened up and there were what, like 2,000 or some, I don't even know, but so many people. It was like in like Two Towers when he looks out at all the orcs that have been developed and I, I just backed up and a tear came down my face so I was like, oh my gosh, it was nerve wracking. But it was fun. Uh, I think... When I always wanted Happy to have a girlfriend. So when Carla came in, it was really, really exciting for me because I got to play him bouncing all over the place, just absolutely in love. And uh, I think my favorite recording moment was after he met Carla, uh, Tyler made an executive decision to kind of drop Happy's voice a little bit lower. Um, he grew up a little bit, you guys. <laughs> and, uh, but I kept forgetting. So he put a sticky note on the on the on the monitor that said, Happy is a boy. <laughs> I kept pushing him up. So that's always a funny memory to me. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, it's so, it's so difficult to pick just one moment because we've been doing this for so long and I think of the scene with Lucy and her dad, which was amazing, and uh, the first time with the Celestial Spirit King and the Loki arc and the Aquarius arc and uh, Edelis was fun. And so I think just summing everything up was um, when I first started to work on the show and I think Tyler sent me a uh, Wikipedia page the fairy tale Wikipedia page with Lucy and told me to study up and I thought it was a joke because I wanted to be on the show and I really didn't think I was gonna get cast so then I thought it was an elaborate joke that they were still asking me to come in and record and uh, so then I finally realized when they announced at uh, New York Comic Con I was like oh wait no this wasn't a joke, I really am playing this character. So it was like all of the process up to that moment and then realizing I really was gonna get to play Lucy and they weren't just messing with me. It would have been a really expensive joke for them too. But you know, I didn't know how committed they were to harassing me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, uh, you talk about going to that uh, New York Comic Con, New remember like, I guess it was right after we did, uh, maybe it was like Hero Tales, uh -huh. and we were meeting somebody at Akon, and like, I'd never really been to a con, and Newt never been to a con before, and we go there, and like, the first people we run into are cosplaying Juvia and Gajiel, and it's like, <laughs> whoa, like, you know, like, okay, and like, we are like, oh, they're cool characters, because we can talk about it back yeah. then, and try to play it off like we didn't know much about it, we were just interested, you know, I uh, felt like it, we had a big secret, it was kind of cool. <laughs> And there's a lot of fairy tale cosplayers there, yeah. which is always cool. Like at a at a con, you see the, the people like dressed up in, as their fairy tale characters, and then they're like hanging out by the end of it, and like it's like a people are there ready to start their own guild. I see a couple y'all today. I also loved that uh, Todd wanted to be on the show so badly, and he was I think the last person that you cast. Yeah. And when he knew I would go in to record, he kept asking me to just check the list and see if they'd cast Natsu. So I waited like five sessions and then said, who's Natsu? And I believe you said, oh, it's Todd. I'm just making him sweat. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, you gotta keep them on their toes. Keep them, keep them hungry, you know? <laughs> That's the secret to directing. <laughs> just threaten to crush their screens at any moment and we got it. And then shred their voice so they yeah, yeah, believe yeah. this might be the end. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess it was after Hero Tales, like, uh, which was a big shouty, another big shouty uh, role for uh, Newt, and like you had, like, just shredded your voice the day before, and you know you're coming in, and you'd call me like, I don't know, man, why don't you just do it? <laughs> this hurts. Yeah. But like sometimes, like directing that show, like uh, you know, directing Fairy Tale, you can get like, yeah, my my throat will get shredded because I'm having to yell at you know. 
we all have to have a, it's a high energy level and there's a lot of shouting and even on me. Not that I'm yelling at them. I'm yelling with them. Yeah, no, no. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes.